Hi, my name is Shani Cole and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you my one month update on Saxenda or my one month update of me taking Saxenda for my overall health and wellness and weight loss. So it's been a very interesting month. I'm probably going to break this video into three parts. The first part I'm going to talk about, you know, overview of what I've been doing the past month and why I'm taking Saxenda. The second part I'm going to talk to you about are the side effects. And the third part is going to be about my results and how I'm going to go into month number two. So let's start with why I'm taking Saxenda and what it does for me. And I have two other videos. One was my one week review and the second was my two week review. I didn't do a three week review because I wanted to give the medication a little bit more time and then come back to you with this one month review. But if you watch those two videos, you might want to just skip this part. So I decided to take Saxenda after gaining about 25 pounds between August of 2022 and January 2023. And I was going through a lot of stressful events in my life. I just got married. I went on two honeymoons. I was traveling a lot. And in combination with gaining the weight, I also was starting to experience elevated or high blood pressure. And so it really freaked me out. And I got sick in January. So I had a doctor's appointment. I was telling the doctor not only about my sickness, which was just a cold and strep throat and it turned into a conversation about my overall wellness and she recommended Saxenda but at the time I was like no 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 I just want to get through this I'm on antibiotics let me get through this strep throat but she said if I thought about it some more come back to her and you know we could discuss the whole process of getting Saxenda and if I wanted to take it so I thought about it and about two weeks later, I made an appointment. I went in and saw her. She went over some of the different things with my body, you know, like I had a little girly checkup and I decided to go ahead and try the Saxenda. Now she warned me that it was a very expensive medication. My insurance would not cover it. However, I am grateful that my insurance does cover it. And not only do you get the, and I'll show you on this side, the pins with the medication, you will take this by sticking it into you with, in, with the needle uh, every day. And the dosage varies from week to week. So you start off taking 0 0.6 milligrams the first week, then it doubles to 1.2, then it goes up by 0 0.6 to 1.8, then 2.4, and then three milligrams is the dose you'll just stay on while you're on the medication. So I've been taking the medication daily at the prescribed dosages, and I take it at around nine o'clock, and that was one of the things I had to adjust to. So at first I was taking it at 7 a.m. right when I woke up and I was getting hungry at night. So I adjusted it and moved it to like taking it right before lunch. And then I was just exhausted all the time. And we'll get into some of the other side effects along with the exhaustion. So then I moved it up to 10 a.m. And then now I'm settled at taking it between around 8 and 9. I click it close to 9 every day. And I felt like that's my sweet spot because I take it and I'm not, I'm not hungry. And this is what it basically does it basically makes you feel full so I'm not hungry all day and I don't get hungry into the morning and that's good for me because I'm not a breakfast person but waking up hungry forces me to start my day off with the good healthy breakfast so I found that sweet spot and that's one of the things I would recommend you know depending on when you're a snacker or when you have your eating <laughs> cravings that would dictate to me when you should take the medication. Everybody will be different. My doctor didn't tell me when to take it. She just told me to take it every day as prescribed. But she also said, you know, figure out what time will be best for you based on, you know, your cravings and your lifestyle. And that's what I've done. So 9 a.m. is a sweet spot for me to take this medication. So I pay $24.99 for a monthly subscription of Saxenda. And then the first month I paid a little bit more because I got a box of needles of 100 but I didn't get that for my second month because I've already refilled the prescription because it's only 30 in a month. So you could use a box of needles probably three and a half, roughly three and a half months before you need a refill on the needles. Um, I take it every day. So I use one needle and I dispose of it. The company Nova Norquis, Nordisk, if I'm saying that correctly, they have a nice website that has a lot of information in it. I'll link that website down below. 
and you can sign up for email so every week they would send me an email about my dosage going up a dosage reminder different tips and things like that i found that very helpful and i also found it helpful to be able to go to a website and they also have a youtube channel with some videos of like how to take the medication side effects you know just overall information and since i'm on youtube i definitely found it helpful that they had those videos available for me and i'll just show you the pen so here's the pen and i can't turn the dial because this is one that's empty as you can see it's the orange is already to the end so the medication is clear in the inside and every week as you turn the dial and your dosage is read right here so it's on zero milligrams it goes from 0 0.6 1.2 1.8 and 2.4 and then three yeah three milligrams so you turn it to that oh I can turn it a little bit and then you stick it in you I'll just show you like in my hand if, if I had a needle in it you press this button you hear it like click, 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 click down. You wait six seconds and then you pull it out. You take the needle, you dispose of it. The company actually sent me one of those red containers for needles to dispose of them properly. So I appreciate that. And then you put the lid back on. I keep my box. I stick it in my box, close the box, and I put it back in the refrigerator because it has to stay cold. Okay, so now we, that we talked about why I'm taking Saxenda, now I want to talk to you about some of the side effects that I have experienced over the last month. If you have any questions about this, I'm no doctor, but I love to chat with different people on Instagram and YouTube who are taking Saxenda or considering Saxenda or just in general on a weight loss and wellness journey. So please leave me a comment down below or feel free to hit me up on Instagram. I appreciate the support. I appreciate hearing what other people are going through because it helps me and I hope that I'm helping others and I feel like this is just a community or we're building a community of people who may struggle through these kind of things and work to overcome them. So back to my original point, we're now going to talk about some of the side effects I've experienced in the last month. The biggest side effect I've experienced is exhaustion, especially between week two and three and that's why I didn't do a week three video. I literally was just too tired. I was barely keeping my eyes open. Like I would take the medication, feel good for about three hours, and then I would be like, I have to go to sleep. Now, before taking Saxenda, I was not sleeping, but maybe four or five hours a night, and it was restless sleep. When my head hits the pillow on Saxenda, I am out like a light from like nine o'clock until six, six thirty ish the next morning. I sleep very well so maybe it's a good thing and a bad thing while I am very tired and want to sleep more when I do sleep I am getting good sleep and I'm feeling more rested when I wake back up but definitely one of the side effects has been the exhaustion the next side effect that I've experienced would probably be a little bit of nausea and heartburn so if I eat after eight o'clock I definitely feel heartburn about 2 a.m. And that's the only thing that will wake me up. I will have to get up and take a Tums because ugh, it's, it will be a nice burning in my chest and I'll get a dry, dry kind of mouth. So I have to get up and have a glass of water and take me a Tums. Now, I also get a little bit of nausea. When I am eating and I am full, but I'm still like possibly eating some because like your portions are going to be smaller as you go up in the dosage. But you want to finish your food, but as I noticed, I've noticed that as I'm trying to finish my food, I start to get very nauseated and like it turns me off from eating. So I, it's hard finishing your plate. The nausea also comes in when I cook certain things. So I was making some chicken tortilla soup the other day and I was making it for my dinner. And literally after I made it, I turned to my husband, I was like, do you want this? He's like, what, you're not going to eat your soup? I'm like, no, I can't. And I ended up just getting some chips, eating the chips, some tortilla chips. And that was my dinner for the night. Like literally, I was so nauseated from making the soup that I couldn't eat it and I didn't want to eat anything. So yeah, that's definitely been hard, challenging, getting very nauseated by sometimes the sight of certain foods. And it's foods that in the past that I really enjoy and really like, but for some reason, the medication is like, Shan, don't eat that. You can't eat that. <laughs> so yeah, I've had a couple of meals where I just either didn't finish or I cooked them and I just didn't eat them. And I am actually going to start eating these pre-planned -pre meals 
or these pre prep meals and I'll talk about that in the next video to kind of like get more of a routine of eating because right now my eating is all over the place I don't like breakfast but I do try to get up and eat something because that's when I'm most hungry and then lunch I'm trying to eat something that's heavier because I know at night I'm just not I mean, because I, I've taken the taken the medication at nine o'clock, it kicks in about six, and I'm not into eating any dinner. So I'm trying to get where I have something already planned, proportioned, and cooked, so that I'm not getting nauseated preparing the food. It's already kind of prepared for me, and I just eat it. And I'm gonna start having my biggest meal in the middle of the day, my lunch being my biggest meal. I'm still trying to figure out breakfast. I think I'm leaning towards fruit and protein shakes when I can't make something like an omelet are i don't know i don't really make anything else for breakfast eggs and toast or something i don't eat toast but eggs and maybe a meat i just really struggle with breakfast it's not one of those it's never been a meal i really love i like cereal that's about it but either a protein shake or a smoothie or some yogurt i'm gonna really focus in on month two of eating more balanced and making sure i eat my biggest meals in the morning and the midday because at night I'm just not hungry and I just can't eat anything. So now I'm going to talk about my first month results. So I started Saxenda on February 6th and as of March 6th, and this video is going to go up probably like around March 13th or 14th. So it'll be like a couple of, almost a week after. And as of March 6th, I have lost 5.3 pounds. Now, some may say, oh, you could have just lost that without the medication. And I probably could have. And it's not the number that I was expecting because watching TikTok and some other YouTube videos and some posts and things, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to lose like 20 pounds in a month. I just, I question whether those results are real, especially some of the people who are a lot thinner than me saying they've lost 10 and 20 pounds starting this medication. Sorry, I just kicked the camera. I question that. If that was the case, this would be like a miracle drug. And I don't think it's a miracle drug. It's definitely a weight loss aid. I think you have to diet and you have to exercise if you want those drastic results. And maybe that's what they did. Because while I was disappointed losing only 5.3 pounds, I went back and looked at my, because I track everything in the Weight Watchers app. I kind of looked back and I only tracked on Weight Watchers three days in the month, that month. I only worked out I did three Peloton rides for 20 minutes and I went on a walk and I walked for about an hour. So I only worked out four times and only one of those times was for over 30 minutes in that one month period because I was really tired and I really wanted to work out but I just couldn't do it. Now this week I'm doing a lot better. I've already gotten in a lot, three, four workouts this week so I'm looking for better results coming up. Uh, I would also say that February was a hard month as far as my eating. While by the time I was at 1.8 to that 2.4 dosage, I was getting nauseated and not eating. But when I was on the lower 0 0.6 and 1.2, my eating didn't change that much. And February was a hard month. It was my husband's birthday, so we did eat out. We did drink a lot. Uh, it was also Valentine's Day. And I did indulge. Like, I ate a lot of sweets. I went out to dinner. I had some cocktails you know I indulged in the month of February I didn't make a lot of diet and exercise changes so losing 5.3 pounds in hindsight by doing nothing but taking the medication I think that's pretty good I think I could have done better but I think that's pretty good and I just want to be honest and transparent because some of you who've reached out to me are getting having the same results and are a little dismayed and disappointed and I think the disappointment comes from the fact that we've seen other things on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube where people are losing this massive amount of weight just one month on the drug and I don't think that's realistic. I have a doctor appointment coming up and I'm pretty sure I'm going to talk to her about you know, setting expectations because she also said this is not a miracle drug. You will lose weight no matter what you do. But I think the rate at which you lose weight definitely depends on your body, how much weight you have to lose and how much you work out and how much you diet. But I definitely don't think just by taking this and sitting on your butt every day that you're losing 20 pounds. I lost 5.3 pounds. I'm grateful to have lost 5.3 pounds. I feel better. I have noticed that you know, even this week when I've worked out more, like my body feels better. So that's a plus for me. Also, 
I've been taking my blood pressure and I've seen a drastic change in my blood pressure. My bottom number is almost normal. My top number is still a little high, but it is nowhere near what it was before I started taking Saxenda a month ago. So coupled with my blood pressure stabilizing and getting into a normal range and losing 5.3 pounds, I would say my first month on Saxenda has been a success. Do I want more? Definitely. So what am I gonna do about that in the month to come? I'm gonna give you a six week update. This is my week five. I am at the three milligrams. I've taken three milligram dosage for a few days now. I have worked out at least 30 minutes on my Peloton for three days. One day, the fourth day I did 15 minutes and I'm probably gonna get in one more workout this week. So given that I'm working out more, I haven't really changed what I'm eating. I eat normal for what I can eat. I haven't like cut anything out of my diet other than the things that the medication just makes me nauseated and I can't eat. But I have only had one drink this week and meaning a cocktail like alcohol. And I have eaten better, but I haven't like say, I haven't stuck to tracking and being fully devoted to my Weight Watchers, which is something I wanna do next week. This week I focused on, you know, getting the exercise in, overcoming being, you know, tired and wanting to sleep, pushing myself to work out. I've actually started working out in the morning, which I am not a morning person, I'm very shocked I'm doing, but I find that if I work out before I take the sex in the morning, it that works for me too, I'm not as tired. So I've had three morning workouts this week and I think I'm gonna have a good number on the scale next week. So please follow me on Instagram at ShaniCole underscore HH. I post there every week my weight loss results, whether I do a video or not. I probably won't do another video to my six week results come in. So week five will just be posted on Instagram. I also post it on my community tab. So check it out there. And yeah, that is about it. Well, that's all for this video. I thank you so much for watching. Again, I thank you for everyone who's reached out to me and supported me or given me words of encouragement, left a comment, DM me, anything and everything. I greatly appreciate it. It makes me feel, it just makes me feel really good. So thank you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I also do videos on shopping and handbags and related things. So that's my normal content that I bring you every week. So if you like that kind of thing, stick around for it. If you're here just for the sex in the videos, stick around for those too. Until the next video, be safe and be happy. Bye now.